Yeah, we're already seeing the icy conditions where the water's running. They have it hasn't frozen solid, but all the outskirts of that where it's just stagnant in a matter of minutes to, of course, hours, that becomes a sheet of ice. That's what's happening on May, Northwest 50th. We've seen that up and down the region. And with any area where it looks like there is liquid on the roads, if it's liquid, it won't be liquid for very long. It will freeze today. So what a mess for the crews. And I tell you, for these men and women that have to be out here actually going to work on these water line outages and breaks, what a complete brutal condition that they're having to deal with where the wind chill is 10 to 20 degrees below. And you guys have been talking about all the exposure calls that we've had in the Metro just over the past 24 hours. So please use caution if you do have to get out and about, take breaks to warm up if you can. We have our crews out this morning, Hank and Patty Brown a bit out in the Metro, Marty Logan for the roadways all across the North. Let's start with Hank and Patty. Hank, good morning, sir. We have had snow, of course, through the region overnight, a little bit of light snow moved back in as you're coming into downtown there's still areas folks need to be aware of yeah Lacey and as the road crews work on the side streets and they lay down salt and sand it melts that existing snow and then we're going to get some refreezing as you talked about that freezing and melting and thawing and refreezing period earlier I was just down by the river sport uh, looking at the river kind of you know we don't see it froze over very often and at Regatta Park there's water pouring out of the manhole cover, turning the whole parking lot into a sheet of ice. Back to you, Lace. Oh, that's going to be a mess, too. My goodness. Yeah, nothing stays liquid very long in these conditions. We'll keep bringing you these areas that are dealing with those types of conditions. Let's go further north now up to Marty Logan. You can see in his shot still like the, some of the shoulders, some of the turn lanes, the intersections. Still icy. Go ahead, Marty. Okay, I am in Harper County at May, Oklahoma now. I'm going to take you back east into uh, Fort Supply, where over at Supply, the roads are a little bit more impacted than they are here. Uh, as you go east to Bows Junction, uh, there's some rolling hills over there that are completely snow-covered. And 20 miles east of I-35 yesterday is where I ended up. And it's about the same all the way over to there, a little less out here farther northwest. Uh, right now, I'm six degrees. I'm warming up. Back to you, Lacey. All right. You were, what, minus two or three earlier. So we've got that warming trend underway. Let me take you to the graphics. Let me show you some of the pictures we've had coming in. So many of them. Cannon up in Perkins having a wonderful snow day. Make sure if the kiddos are going out, they're not out for very long. And they are bundled up Look like the Michelin men out there. Love this one from Alf Alfred Alf Alfredito. Yes, that's what I think that is. Yes, I love this picture so much from Oklahoma City. Check it out. At first I saw it and I was like, okay, build a snowman. But how? With how powdery it is. It's the Christmas decoration. And I love how creative the kiddos are. You want a snowman? There's a way to do it. There's, there's a will. There's a way. It's amazing. All right, check out this picture. When you look down from space, there goes the cloud cover, the white on the ground. That is the snowpack, and you can still see the rivers there, the tributaries in the snowpack right through Oklahoma City, off to the south and east even now, and even in southwestern Oklahoma, had a little snow overnight. So still some slick spots, the newest snow to the east, causing some additional issues. We're sitting at 63 hours consecutively below freezing. That's why the river's frozen over. By the way, if the kiddos think that it's a good idea, or hey, even you or your husband think it's a good idea to go out and walk out on that or possibly try to ice skate something. That's how folks lose their life. The, the ice is not going to be thick enough to hold up your weight. So please don't do that as tempting as it may be. We're at 82 hours below freezing in Ponca, 79 in Tulsa, 60 in Clinton, and we're a little over halfway done with this go round. Wind chill warnings in effect, winter storm warnings off to the east. The snow is moving out. Skies are clear on next gym, but we will have a chance of some light snow tonight. That's pulling away. We're at three degrees degrees minus 14 for a feel like temperature so single digits north winds 10 to 20 miles per hour wind chill is minus 14 in okc minus 13 in shawnee below freezing 10 to 15 degrees which means that frostbite can set in in anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to expose skin 14 for a high today that's where we're headed 19 and Ardmore will be close to shattering or at least tying a record cold high today. We'll see how warm we can get. When does it end? Well, this round, 
pulls away. This blast starts to warm up a little bit. Wednesday and Thursday, the afternoons are above freezing, but Thursday afternoon, the next blast moves in. That means we're below freezing Friday, Saturday, trying to squeak up above freezing on Sunday. Tonight, single digits. Tomorrow morning, 5 to 15 below once again, and there is a chance for snow tonight in northern Oklahoma. May pick up a trace to a dusting in our far northern counties. May get some flurries in the metro, but not, a, not amounting to much. Above freezing there, the 40s for Wednesday and Thursday, but we're back in the ice box into the weekend. And we're back right after this.